I'm really much more aware of the patterns of looking towards what's missing and focusing on that as opposed to gratitude and just being aware of what already is. Uh, the longing often made it hard for me to be really fully in the present because I was looking for what wasn't there as opposed to what is there already. And I feel much more grounded, present, uh, at peace, and uh, able to um, relate to the world at ease when I'm present with what is, as opposed to looking for what's missing. Understanding that I am a four has helped me in my life because I can now see this habit of mind of not feeling enough, of this need to go out for other approval and catch it and go, wow, that's that's not really me. Learning how to drop in and really nurture myself and my own love of myself so that it's really coming more from my own heart. And when I'm present with myself, I can meet you. And, and that's a much more alive and honest relationship. The Enneagram has been very significant to me, uh, mainly in recognizing that that's a perception, <laughs> that that's something that's a pattern of thought in my mind, and that I actually um, have a choice about how I respond to, to that voice inside me, or that screen that comes over my eyes, um, that, that I actually can be free um, to recognize that I do fundamentally belong, and that I am actually not as different from others as I might think I am. Um, so it's been liberating to actually develop a discipline with the, with the background of knowledge of the Enneagram of, uh, of practicing a different point of view and stepping out of that habitual way of seeing myself and allowing myself to actually come forward because the, the motion is back for me with that perception and I, and I feel like this is an invitation to come forward and to act in a different way of being connected with other people and offering what I have to offer to people a little more openly and freely uh, without concern for being different.